Hello again, everybody. Well, today we are at Ruby Falls again. This time, we're going to be checking out the sixth annual Battle Below the Clouds. It's a barbecue competition, and it looks like everybody's set up and everybody's cranking along. So, come on, guys, let's go take a look and see what we can see. Apologies for having to film this direction. I'll film the other direction just to cut it, but you can see that. They've got some tents set up. They got some bluegrass going on. It is going to be a fun time. So let's take a look. Well, I'll tell you what, we're gonna start at this end and work our way back at the other end. Everybody's got some different kind of stuff. Some people have tank ones. Some people have big green eggs. Some people are even using uh, Weber's and other stuff, but you know what? You use what you got and what you've trained with. Straight off the deck barbecue, you got serious hog. Well, that's an interesting old little charcoal. And you even got generators. And over there you got old 41 and KZ 106. My buddy over there. My buddy's got this Old 41 barbecue sauce and it tastes pretty daggum good. So, gonna have to go and get some more of that. Everybody's just kind of chilling. It sounds like they're not even gonna start um, the competition for actually eating it until, you know, 1.30, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, somewhere thereabouts. But let's take a look. This is just interesting to see what everybody's using. Oh. There's one of those stoves. I'm looking at getting one of those. We got Reed Smoked Eats. Teclo Barbecue. Cohutta, Georgia. Smoking Low Barbecue. What's your name, neighbor? There's my buddies. Hillbilly Hog Hustlers. The Flavor Train, 2016 yeah, Ribs Champs. That's awesome. Well, you came a long way. Yeah, these guys. Yeah. White Ribs Barbecues. Yeah. Look at all We're of those awards. Great, great cause happening here today. Man, boy, does it smell. Look at all of this. Well, anyway, back to what I was saying. If you feel like cutting a rug or cutting some asphalt out there, just... Somehow I missed the classic country fellers until I was in my 20s when I met my husband. And he either had the radio on all the time to talk radio classic country. And I fell in love, little by little, with all these different voices, not really knowing. Well, guys, I've got to get out of here. Judging for the wings is going to be at noon, but I cannot do that. So, anyway, guys, I'm off to go on some more journeys. Until then, why don't you go on a journey of your own? We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.